I've got some super cuts for you today of the daily challenge playlist, which you can find at the end of any of my videos. In the upper left corner, there's going to be a tile on the end scene. Also in the description of the video, you can find a link. And then if you go to my channel homepage, it's the first playlist at the top of the page. It's real easy to find. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I got a bunch of super cuts. I'm cutting out the bad stuff. We're just going with what's good. Hello and thank you for viewing. Today's daily challenges for Monday, June 10th, 2019 are three non-player enemies killed with a Maxim gun, one rescued someone in need, three sheep skinned, one turtle skinned, one belt buckle updated, five common bulrush picked, and three cooked seasoned succulent fish. Hello, thank you for viewing. Today's daily challenge is asking us to kill a turtle. I'm going to show you some locations you can find turtles. This first spot, I don't find a turtle, but I frequently come here and there is one. It's this grassy area just to the left of my horse. Now it's in front of my horse, just by this tree. Just right where I'm at, there's no turtle there. I'm going to run over to another spot where I often see turtles. Now sometimes you'll see one around that area where there's water. And also on this side of the bridge, there's often turtles. And fortunate for me, there is one right there. Just going to give it a little bit of a headshot with my varmint rifle. Challenge complete. There you go. Here's a map showing the location. We are in Blue Water Marsh, just north of San Ani. It's actually in between San Ani and Van Horn. You don't really need to pay to fast travel. You can get over here just by free roaming to Le Moyne. Le Moyne is such a small area, you can just run right over from your free roam. Get here for free. I hope this helps you out. I usually try and do these daily challenge videos. I'm sorry, you only got eight. You can free roam and get instantly wanted. So I try killing I'm thinking like he's a witness, but it doesn't seem to matter. I'm still wanted, and I need to still skin two more sheep. So I'm going to hurry up and do that, hopefully before the law comes and kills me. I do end up taking out a couple lawmen just to get out of the way, and I managed to get it no problem. I think you'll have no problem with this either. Let's see if there was a location there, because I stuck around fast travel points. That's right. I have five different fast travel points with 22 locations spread across all five. There are four different maps that I'm going to show you. We have roads at 30 seconds and you can see that now up by Southfield Flats. All the common bulrush that you're going to find is going to be around low lying area around water. Okay, because it's cattails, you know, that it's common bulrush. That's what it is. Second map is Valentine. You'll be able to find it all along that river there. I found five different locations. They're all marked. And the next location is going to be Heartland Overflow, which I did do a video back in March showing those locations. So that's nothing new to anybody who saw that video. You can see that's coming up right here at 1 minute and 10 seconds. Then we have La Grasse at 1 minute and 30 seconds. You're going to find all sorts of common bulrush south of Van Horn as well. I just didn't venture down there. Like, I wanted to stick around fast travel points. And when you go south of Van Horn, you can start getting into the marsh area. You're kind of getting away from the fast travel points. You know, this is northwest of the fast travel. There were two south. Now, this is the Van Horn. And that one right by town, like, if you fast travel the Van Horn, you're practically going to be standing in it when you load in. And you come across some random... Let's, quote, let's just read what... We're in like, tall trees be east of Aurora like Basin, north of Manzanita Outpost. You can see I already have a bear on my horse. Oh, I decided to well. skip that rescue. Hey, I didn't actually do it. To kill some guys and then give somebody a ride. You can see there I just showed you where this location starts off. Reviewing this video, I am going to show you how to cook seasoned succulent fish meat. First, you're going to need to catch either some trout or some salmon. This location I just showed a map for, you can find trout. As you can see, I'm pulling a trout in. Once you catch trout or salmon, now this might work for bass as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know what bass give you. But I know trout and salmon works. You go into your satchel, highlight them, and then hold down A to break them down. And then once you break them down, they will... Be removed from your satchel, and instead you will have some succulent fish meat. For cooked seasoned succulent fish meat, you're going to need some oregano, thyme, or mint. 
but there are some oregano just outside of Valentine. There's also a fire right by Valentine, which is near a stranger. And if you go to that fire, since you're by the stranger, you'll also be in a safe zone, so you can't get killed while you're cooking. And then you have the option of selecting how to season it by using your left and right on your D-pad. You can see I'm switching from oregano, mint, thyme, all three of them, or just you can cook it without any seasoning at all. But in order to complete the daily challenge, you have to cook it with the seasoning. And you only have to cook three of them, so hopefully you can find enough oregano at that spot. Otherwise, there's some more oregano around. I also have other videos for oregano in the playlist for all of today's daily challenges. Make sure you check the description for a link to that playlist. You can find all sorts of locations and guides and tips and tricks specific for every day's daily challenges in that playlist. It's updated daily. And that wraps it up. I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for viewing, subscribing, liking, sharing, and especially joining. Hope everyone's real excited about that 28-day streak. I know I am. I'll catch you all next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.